You know, I have been around a lot. I have been around the world. I have met some interesting people and done some crazy things. So you would think there would be little that would surprise me. You would be wrong. The world is full of interesting things. It's full of science, things that keep me awake at night. Some things that I can understand, others just defy logic. Tonight, we go to a town in northern North America that has truly discovered something. The town has discovered something truly remarkable. They may have discovered the existence of Bigfoot. Yup, you heard it here first. The world is an interesting place, and I will capture it. May 27th, 2016. A man and his dog are first to witness a creature walking down the sidewalk of his town. Well, I saw him walking right by the front of my house. I saw it was a bear. I was going to get my shotgun, but then I realized he was on walking on two feet. Call the wife, but she's so deaf. Barely hear me. Who are you talking to? What are you saying? Oh, I'm talking about Bigfoot. Tell me who? Oh, those fellas, I'm talking to them, those reporters there. I don't see anybody. They're right there, love. Well, I, don't, I don't see anybody. By the way, did you take the cat out in the oven? Then later on that afternoon, more people from across the town witnessed something walking through the forest near the campground. Looks like Bigfoot. I think those cookies are bad. I'm seeing Bigfoot too. Man, that does look like Bigfoot. It sure does. Well, we knew we were getting close. I mean, we saw all the forest creatures had like brown streaks down the middle of their backs. There's definitely a Bigfoot around here. All the locals have seen it. Nobody started taking an interest though until that viral video. It's got like 100 million views. Okay. Yeah, you've seen it for sure. I think, you know what, I'm going to catch this creature. And I think I got just as good a shot as anybody else. It'd be a bit more difficult now that there's like so many people in town, but I am going to catch this thing. You're going to see. You know what? I'm going to catch it. I'm going to be famous. I'm going to be the most famous person in the world. Okay? I rule the world! What do you think they're paying for Bigfoots and zoos these days? So, did this small rural town really get a visit from the elusive Bigfoot? Or is there something more sinister and devious worming its way through the streets and forests? All these people claim they have witnessed something they cannot explain. Is it mass hysteria? Or a well-laid plot full of conspiracy and lies? We may never know. Join me next time for more Bigfoot stories and sightings as we delve deeper into this town that some people call Bigfoot Town. Cut. Yeah. Oh, hey. Listen, Donnie, I really appreciate you helping me out here today, man. It, uh, it's pretty hard to be taken seriously when you're doing the news out of the back of a van, you know? Well, if, uh, if this gets big, we could both be moving on to bigger and better things. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, you okay? Yeah, you know, something just doesn't quite feel right. I, uh, this whole, whole thing just feels like trash TV to me. Oh, well, lots of money to be made in trash TV. Yeah, but I want to be taken as a serious journalist, Donnie, you know? I, uh, I wish I could just find that one piece of information that I could just blow this whole thing wide open. Well, mysteries are mysteries for a reason, though, eh? What's that supposed to mean? Maybe we're not supposed to know everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, before I forget, this uh, crazy German lady dropped off a number for you. Ooh. I told you to give her a call. She was talking something about brown tea. Brown tea? Could have been broom tea? I don't know. I couldn't understand a word she was saying. What the hell is broom tea? 